evening. You are welcome back to Wise Words with <laughs> and teachers and Efwa. By the way, that's Pastor Chess. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Auntie. Good evening. Last week we ended um, last episode by saying we must learn to please God. And the scripture that came into my mind is when a man's ways please the Lord. He learns to live at peace with his neighbors. So we must always learn to trust God and follow his lead. Amen. 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 The same way we trust God for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how he will lead us tonight. Amen. 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 And please like, share, comment. And I want to hear what you would say about tonight's topic. Because it's very interesting. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Tonight we want to talk about the word older brother or older sister. Hmm. When we say an, oh, someone is an older brother, an older sister, Pastor Chess, what comes to mind? Um, <laughs> well, an older brother and older sister could be both biological and spiritual. Okay. So if you're talking about biological, you're talking mainly about siblings in the same family. Mm. More often than not, born of the same mother and the okay. same father. So the older brother will be the child or the boy that comes first, and the older sister will be the girl that comes first. Mm. Um, if you're talking of older brother or older sister in spiritual terms, mm. you're talking about those who came to the knowledge of Jesus as Lord and Savior. Okay. So who came to the knowledge of Jesus first? How long have they been walking with God? That makes them an older brother or an older sister in the Lord. So those are ways of looking at it. You could also have older siblings, so to speak, in professions. Mm. Yeah. So if you look at things, especially like the law profession, mm. there's a lot of hierarchy and a mm. lot of respect. Um, when, when did you finish? <laughs> then you know that this is my younger brother or my older one in the law, and then mm. there's respect like that. So mm. I think it cuts across board mm. from where you are, yes. So which means the older brother comes first. The older brother comes first. <laughs> So, in, 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 in the body of Christ, who then would you define as an older brother? Wow. Well, I want to say, first of all, in the body of Christ, older brother is not on age, okay. birth age. It's on hmm, second birth age. <laughs> <laughs> because in Christianity, we talk about being born again. Yeah, so, yeah. that's the second birth. Mm. So on second birth age, let me put it that way. Mm. So your older brother will be one who has walked with God mm. for a much longer time than you have. Mm. So for instance, we could say in this house, our older brother could be Elder Morris. Okay. He has walked for 90 years. Okay. We have older sisters in this house who have walked with God for 70 years. Mm. Then we have some others. So it just keeps going down the line. So, so we you could get find, to my turn? So we, <laughs> So we get to our turn. No, <laughs> Amen. But we then can also be older sisters oh, wow. to others who are younger, younger. in Christ than ourselves. Mm. Yes. Wow. So your teacher is considered as an older brother, your pastor. Uh, in, a, in a particular church, I know they call them cheap shepherd or shepherd. Oh. You become a shepherd. So a shepherd has a flock or, ha or your cell group leader or those okay. people becomes an older brother. So now let's look at um, the older brother. What are the expected character traits <laughs> of an older brother? Not the ones they exhibit, the expected. Um, well, if you go through, let's use maths textbooks. Okay. <laughs> if you have a, a, a maths textbook, for instance, mm. You have the older brothers, which are the examples that go ahead. Okay. So the first thing there is an example or mm. an information about something. Mm. Then the others follow. Mm. So what you expect from the first is that the first should be a pace setter. Okay. The first should give an example. Mm. The first it should be one that you can look up to and emulate. Um, the first should be one who, they may not necessarily know everything. Yeah. But the little they know, mm. they should be able to inculcate or teach other people. Mm. Um, in my Bible study today, I was reading 1 Corinthians, and I think verse 6, chapter 6 or chapter 7, one of them. And Paul was saying something. Paul said, follow me as I follow, follow Christ. Christ. 
So he's saying to them, as your father in the Lord, as your elder brother in Christ, mm. if you don't know what to do, do what I do. Mm. If you do what I do, you should be fine. Mm. And I think that's what we expect more often than not mm. of the ones who are older than us. Mm. So your older brother, when you were o uh, growing up, let's consider your, I don't know, well, for, for the sake of everybody, are you the oldest? I'm in the middle. <laughs> I, had, I have two, or I had two above me and two beyond me. So how did me. you, what were some of the things your older sister or your older siblings did? that you really liked? Um, I think I liked the fact that they did everything and I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, my older brother was fun. Hmm. Speaking of which, my, the first time I went to the fellowship in church, my older yeah. brother took me. Okay. I just finished writing my GCSE exams and I came hmm. home for the long vac. Hmm. And he said to me, you can't just stay at home doing nothing. Hmm. I didn't know how to use public transport. Anytime mm. I wanted to go out, my brother took me, or my father took me, or my mother took me, or the driver took me. I didn't know anything about mm. public transport. And he said to me, so the first thing I'll do, let me show you how to get from the house <laughs> to church using public transport. Okay. So he set that example for mm. me. And the first time I attended a fellowship, a youth fellowship in church, my elder brother took me. So he taught you to be independent. So that's really good. He, I, I, I think an older brother is... The one that brings out the best in you. Mm. He teaches you the value of life or how life... They are supposed to be your mentor, your cheerleaders as well. They are supposed to be people who will listen to you and hear you out and correct you. So what other things did you enjoy in your older siblings? <laughs> <laughs> um, my elder sister, I, I refer to her as a Jack of all trades. My other sister does everything. Mm. Everything. And I mean everything. Oh, I can't you want her I to envy. build a bookshelf, she will build a bookshelf. Mm. You want her to fix a car, she does everything. <laughs> you want her to sew an outfit, she will do mm. it. To make your hair, make... My elder sister taught me, the first time I ever applied makeup, my elder sister taught me. Mm. She said, you finish school, let mm. me teach you how to be. I said, no, I don't need it. She said, no, you will need it. Mm. <laughs> so she sat me down and she taught me. Cooking, she taught me everything about cooking. Mm. Because by the time I was coming home, after my GCSEs, she was going for youth service. Okay. So I was now going to be more or less Hand in charge of the, the house. Tongue. Yes. <laughs> but before then, she did everything. She did the cooking. She did. So we would just wake up and the food was there because she loved to cook. Uh -huh. She loved to bake. She did everything. <laughs> um, I remember one Christmas, she said, let's just do something strange, something different. Mm. And we had Chinese. We made our own pasta from scratch. Mm. We rolled out our everything. Then, how many years ago, who was doing pasta from scratch when mm. you were not Chinese? or Asian, but mm. we did everything, all my wonton soups, everything, I learned everything from my, she just mm. loved to experiment and try things, mm. so I learned many things from her. Mm. Um, she, I, I, I'm still learning many things from her, actually. Mm. I spent a lot of time just sitting down and watching her. Mm. Yes, that's, that's... I remember my husband telling me that all what he wanted to do was to be like his older brother, mm. dress like his brother, walk like his brother. So everywhere he went, he was proud to be with his older brother. You see, that's good when you have an elder, a si an elder sibling that has set the right example. Mm. When you look at them and you can say to yourself, I want to be like this brother or this sister, mm. it says for the elder brother or the elder sister, thumbs mm. up. It means they have done something well. Mm. Because there are some elder brothers and elder sisters, the younger ones will see and say, I hope I will never be like <laughs> you. And I think that's where we need to begin to ask ourselves, mm. are you an older sibling? The ones coming after you, what will they see? Mm. And that is one cry I have made for many years, especially in my walk with God. Mm. Because my elder brother said something to us many years ago. He said, you have a face that nobody can forget. If they see you once, they will always remember you. Mm. So always behave yourself anywhere you go because you don't know who knows you. So my cry has always been, God, I don't know who is watching me. Mm. I don't know who knows me. But help me to set such an example that wherever I am seen, by whoever sees me, whatever they see, they will give you praise. Let my life set a right precedence 
for others to follow. So I would say to Uncle Kuku's elder brother, kudos, that's, a, mm. that's, that's, that's super. Mm. I, I think we don't find a lot of that. Let's look at scripture, auntie. Mm. Let's look at Cain and Abel. What mm. is the example Cain set for Abel? <laughs> learn to kill, <laughs> learn to dishonor God, mm. learn to disrespect your parents. Mm. You don't want to grow up around that kind of older mm-hmm. sibling mm-hmm. thing. Yes. Yeah. So again, it's just to say to all of us, you may feel, you might even be an only child. Mm. You're still going to be an older sibling to somebody. Mm. They are going to be friends somewhere who will end up being younger than you. And they are mm. looking up to you and expecting something from you. Mm. Do you have anything to give? Mm. For the older siblings, I also want to say that sometimes the difficulty for older siblings is there's no example, there's no one to no. follow. But I want to say to you, choose if you're a man, look up to your father. Mm. Look at your father, whether they are good, bad, or ugly, there is good in everybody. Mm. Look at your mother if you're a lady. There is mm. something you can pick out from them mm. and begin to model yourself after those good things and begin to draw a line and say, These bad things, God, don't let me pick them up. Mm. There are times I look at my children and I see them copying some of my examples that I don't like. <laughs> is scary. So I have to call them and say, if you're copying me, don't copy this one. Please, when you see this one in me, pray for me, but Mm. don't copy it. Mm. And pray for yourself that you don't do this. This is Mm. not right. I am still asking God to give me victory in this area. So Mm. please, of everything you want to copy in my life, this one, don't copy it. (laughs) So, yeah. So, So, you are not the older one. Not really. If I ask you now, would you would you have wished? No. <laughs> I totally enjoyed not being the first. For I, I just love the fact that for so many reasons, mm. for so many reasons, mm. it's it's. Hmm. I, I I think for the older one, you ha- you must bear all the fruit of the spirit, <laughs> long suffering, patience. Everything, <laughs> because you are expected to be a pace setter, and you can't afford to do what is wrong. I just want to know your. Just put your comment in there. If you're an older sister, someone told me it's a very lonely place to be mm. because everybody is looking up to you, and you are expected to do what is right. I want to know your experience. I want to know your comment. And if you are the younger one and you are wishing to be the older one, let me know why. You see, <laughs> now you said that something else just crossed my mind. Mm. I think for my elder sister, she had, we had some older cousins okay. that she could look to and she could walk with. Mm. So I think for her, that also helped to make it easier. Mm. Because even though in the house, she, she didn't have, well, she had my elder brother, but mm. female wife, she didn't have another female. Mm. There were cousins that she could pick up little things from mm. or that we could spend time with. Mm. And she could learn things from and it could help. Mm. And I think sometimes that also helps. Mm. Um, So you don't have to be lonely as an older sibling. Mm. Um, Look around you. Look around you. you. Who can you learn from? I remember because I'm the first girl in my family, um, I didn't have an older sister. So we had youth fellowship and we had youth leaders. Mm. Well, my mentor was not a lady, actually. It was my... It was my youth leader who was a man. So most of the questions I should have asked my sister, I naively asked asked him him. because I didn't know who to ask. Mm. And he was patient enough to answer all my questions. Mm. Uh, It was later on that I found out, okay, I could talk to the older female leaders. I was more Comfortable. comfortable talking to the male leaders. So I told them everything. Yeah. about uh, menses, everything. I just asked questions because I didn't know. And mm. they answered me. Mm. So, as you said, you have to find people you talk you, to. Yeah, yeah. You talk to. You yeah. shouldn't be there alone yeah. as well. And I also think it's a place where you need your parents' support. Big time. Because there's so much they expect of you. It's, it's a place where you learn from your mother or your father. And they're expecting you to teach the younger ones. And sometimes you are trying, but it's not working. You, you bear so much responsibility. You have to become a prayer warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you have to become an intercessor. Because you keep talking and talk. you have to be a good listener. Because at the end of the day, you have siblings. They are looking up to you. Mm. If you make mistakes, they will also... 
Make because you, you cannot do what is wrong and tell them to do right. Oh, it doesn't no. work that way. No. So y you carry so much. You must learn to listen. You, mu you should be there for them. And I made mention of one of the fruit of the spirit. You should have long suffering. <laughs> And the Lord patience. is your help Amen. and patience. Because they will try you. Your siblings will try you. They will, they will say all sorts of things. Mm. And for me, looking back in my life, I think there's so many things my mom did that I did not understand her. She would tell me, don't retaliate, be nice. The older one is to serve, blah, blah, blah. I felt she didn't like me. But now looking mm. back, I'm seeing that she was teaching me the the what uh, the characteristics or what what it, what the an older to, yeah. yes and what is expected of an older sibling but i felt it was too hard for me I, I would just say that i was listening to some young children yesterday telling their parents about the challenges and difficulties they face mm. and one of the things that struck me was they said parents tell us many things without mm. explaining yeah so we have no clue why you are, are telling us these things and yeah. what they mean. So for parents who, who are expecting their first children to behave, sit properly, talk properly, blah, mm. tell them why. Teach them with patience. Mm. Remember that for those of us who are also parents, when you had your first child, you had no clue what to no. do. And you were looking for somebody to teach you. Mm. And you made mistakes along the way. But mm. you didn't flog yourself. No. So why do you want to <laughs> flog and shout at the little mm. child who is trying to do things yeah without any guidance, mm. without any knowledge of why they are doing mm. what they are doing. Mm. So let's also learn to be patient. Let's teach them. And I just want to say to those who are older siblings, either boy, um, brothers or sisters, who felt that they were mistreated by their parents, who felt mm. that the, the hands of their parents upon their heads was too heavy. Mm. Could I just plead with you tonight and just say, I'm sorry. Mm. On behalf of your parents, your mom and your dad, could I just say, I'm sorry. Um, sometimes people act based on what they know. If they knew better, the mm. honest truth is they would have done better. Mm. They just treated you based on what they knew and understood at that time mm. to be their best um, cause of action. So I'll plead with you, please, whatever pains they caused you, we are sorry. Please forgive them. Ask God to heal you from whatever bitterness came up from there mm. and to take you forward so that you can be the best that God called you to be. That's one. And then secondly, you don't transfer that anger and animosity onto your own children. Mm. Because sometimes it just continues, continues down the line because we haven't dealt with it. Mm. Yes. So. Wow. I think this is an interesting topic. I wanted us to look at the older family, older brother or older sister in the lives of um, uh, Bible characters. Oh, but looking at the time, I think we'll carry on next week. Hey. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so just in case, if you've been an elder sibling, older brother, older sister, put something down for us. Yeah. So we have something we can run with and something yes. we can chew. What were your challenges? What were your, your victories, mm. etc.? What were the questions you fought with? Mm. So that when we're talking, we have a, a platform and a basis yeah. on which to present it and present it properly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, and yeah. for my older siblings out there, don't worry, Jesus is your helper. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Always and Amen. forever. Thank you, Lord. So see you next week. And God bless you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button. <laughs> Amen. You have been with F1 and, and teachers. God bless you. And good night. <laughs>